Hi, I'm Laura Murray at Fusion 360 Studios reporting for the Fusion 360 News Network. Music videos have been a big part of pop culture for some time now. Musicians, directors, editors, and music fans alike all have their favorite videos. Because music videos are so popular, we've decided to give you a brief history lesson on the topic. Don't worry, we promise it'll be fun. In 1959, Giles Perry Richardson, or the Big Bopper, coined the term music video. Then, in 1964, the Beatles came out with the film A Hard Day's Night. They used the film to promote their music. In 1975, unable to perform on the British show Top of the Pops, Queen created a video which featured themselves performing their hit song Bohemian Rhapsody. Then, in 1981, MTV was born. The first video ever aired on the station was none other than Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. In 1983, Thriller hit the music scene. Michael Jackson was the first artist to create a music video as a type of short film. Thriller is still considered by many as the greatest music video of all time. In 1985, Viacom Media created Video Hits 1, or VH1. A sister channel to MTV, VH1 was created to target an older audience. In the early 2000s, MTV started producing regular programs, which made less time for music videos to air. This time period was considered the dark years of the music video. Then, in 2005, YouTube burst onto the scene, allowing for music videos to be both uploaded and viewed with a click of a button. Currently, 2 billion videos are viewed on YouTube daily, many of which are music videos. Hopefully, you enjoyed our little history lesson on music videos. Once again, I'm Laura Murray with the Fusion 360 News Network. See you later.